What's up, Cozy Gamers? It's Palea's newest official partner here to go over the new patch notes with you that just dropped today. We will be getting the actual update in just a couple of hours, but I wanted to go through what we're going to get because trust me, it's good. It is very good. <laughs> So let's jump into these patch point 172 notes. The first bit of news, in my opinion, is the best because a lot of people have been asking for this, including myself, and that is more customization options being added to the game. I personally feel that like sometimes everyone's characters look too similar. So this is huge. You can now freely change several character customization options at Gel's shop. This includes your body type, skin tone, face type, and eye color. They've added eight new skin tones, 16 new face options, 14 more eye color options, but there is a one week cooldown on this. So just keep that in mind. On top of that, we're getting tons of free customization options added to the wardrobe. The following have been added, 11 new hairstyles, eight more hair color options, nine new facial hair options, and three new glasses. I'm really excited for the new hair options because as you can see up here, there are some cute ones. I'm pretty much already decided on this one because I, I don't know, I, I just feel like it's closest to my real life hairstyle and I'm very excited to see it. But I'm also really looking forward to the three new glasses. It's always nice to have more uh, accessory items that don't take premium coins. So it'll be nice to have three free glasses added to our wardrobe. Moving on from customization, we're getting the Star Stones. This has already been brought up multiple times. I think a lot of us already know about this. I'm really looking forward to it. Apparently, it's supposed to help us make money now that the cake parties have been nerfed. They can also be used as gift items for villagers. And there is correlation between, like, the Star Stones and your Zodiac sign or, like, Paleo's version of the Zodiac sign. So I think that's really cool. And if you like Zodiac and astrology, then I think you'll probably like this new addition to the game. The next thing on our list is another thing we already knew about, but it's nice to just get a little bit more info on it. Uh, the limit for total placeable items has been raised from 2,000 to 3,000. Huge. The limit for total housing add-ons has been raised from 15 to 30. Also huge. And you can now place multiple main houses on the same plot. You can see in this image here, there are multiple main houses. This is a main house, main house, main house, main house. So you can have separate buildings. This is really cool because you can make like a guest house separate from your building or like a greenhouse. There are a lot of options and I really, really am excited to see how this uh, works in game and how it opens up new uh, design options for us. This next thing that we're about to talk about is something that I'm really excited for. As a Paleo partner, I learned about this a little bit earlier, but I'm glad that we can now talk about it. And that is the rummage piles. Rummage piles are left behind by Choppa and can be discovered all throughout Paleo. And through these rummage piles or in these rummage piles can be found uh, new recipes, nine new recipes for new furniture, which we'll see pictures of once I scroll down, as well as five newly added found item quests. So that means more quests. That's great. Um, these are what the rummage piles look like. And if we scroll down, we can see some of these items. I love these hanging baskets here. There's a clothes hamper, uh, like an item that you can hang towels on, uh, a bunch of like a log, I don't know what you call this. Uh, there's a like a wicker basket here, another sort of hamper. Um, there's a water jug and like a bowl. So it's not anything that's like super, super exciting, but these are very usable items that I think will be great for decorating houses. I We definitely need more subtle, realistic furniture pieces added to the game. I really, really hope in the future we get more small items for the shelves, especially books, because you know how sometimes the icons show the shelves with like books on them, but when you place it, there's nothing on it. We need books. The next two things are good for those of you who are trying to grind, whether that be mining or fishing. So it says here, expect about 60% more Palium nodes now available in Bahari Bay. So that means it'll be a lot easier to get Palium. There will be new spots where Palium ores spawn, which is going to be exciting for us players to go figure out where those are. I'm going to be playing on Twitch 
in just a couple of hours once everything goes live. So maybe we can try and figure out where those Paleum Ore spots are together. And the other thing is fishing hotspots in Bahari Bay have been improved. So all hotspots will now respawn faster and several new ones have been added to certain locations. They also fixed some hotspots specifically in the Flooded Fortress, which I didn't even realize was a problem. So that's cool if that was an issue for you, but I actually didn't know that was a problem. And the last thing or the last big thing, are these new premium store costumes. So we have three new sets. There is the Plushy Pal Bundle, which is going for $1,700 per outfit, or 3400 for all three. It includes a lily pad leaper, which you can see here, a bamboo bandit, and Redland Rover outfits. Now, again, as a Paleo partner, I actually saw what the other ones look like, and I'm, ooh, I'm so excited. I am definitely going to be getting the bamboo bandit. It's my favorite animal. So if you know my favorite animal, this is kind of like a spoiler, but I'm really, really Really excited for it. The next bundle is the Snow Seer bundle, which is just in time for winter, at least for us in Northern Hemisphere. Uh, $12.75 per outfit, $25.50 for all three. There's Crystal Glade, Capital Finish, and Blizzard Walker outfits. And the final one is the Sun Kiss bundle, which is $8.50 per outfit or $1,700 for all three. Includes Village Breeze, Floral Shower, and Mossy Mist outfits. I really love the shorts for this one and like the boots are super cute. I don't know. It kind of has like, I don't know. I get jester vibes from this for some reason, but I am always excited for new costumes. I know not everyone wants to spend money in the game. That is totally legitimate. You don't have to spend money in this game to enjoy it. But for those of us who can afford it or want to support the devs in this way financially, then I say go for it. There are some great options and clearly more great options are being added. And the last thing, of course, uh, are bug fixes. So they fix a bunch of bugs here, um, including uh, one that I think was quite important, which was Badru's level four friendship um, reward being, you know, placeable because that was kind of weird that we that we couldn't do that. Um, also, the Emberborn set is now rightfully placed in furniture, so you don't have to go to the All tab and like look for it, which is great. But unfortunately, there are still some known issues that have not been tackled yet, including, um, in my opinion, the one that's like kind of bugging me the most, which is that the in the achievements page there are darkened silhouettes for things that you already have. So like right now, my uh, achievement tab for like fish and bugs, it's all black silhouettes. So I have no idea which ones I have already or which ones I don't have, which makes it impossible for me to uh, like complete my bug collection, um, both starred and unstarred. So it just, it's a little bit frustrating and I really hope they fix that. But I'm gonna remain positive because I do think that Singularity 6 is always on the ball when it comes to knowing what's wrong and what players want and what they don't want. So I, I'm i really excited for these patch notes. I hope you guys are too. Like I said, at the time of recording this video, the patches have not happened yet. This big patch has not happened yet. It'll be happening in a couple of hours and I will be streaming over on Twitch. So if you're watching this video, definitely check me out on Twitch. Uh, all my socials are in the links below. And if you liked this video, if you want more cozy gaming content, Palea and other cozy games, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and, you know, stop by, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys what your opinions are and uh, what kind of content you'd like to see on my channel. So until next time, cozy gamers, stay cute.